Hi and welcome to Makeup for 40 Plus. I haven't done a foundation routine in a really long time so I thought that I would do a back to basics ones really because a lot of my subscribers have commented that they don't have high end brushes, they don't have high end foundations etc and we all start out small so I thought I'd just do a back to basics with some relatively inexpressive inexpensive brushes, my basic foundation and it's really something that I do do and wear a lot anyway because I love it and it's still one of my favourites. So I am going to be using my Revlon Colorstay foundation. This is the um, oily to combination um, skin because I definitely still have oily skin and my colour is in, what is my colour? In um, two no, 330 Natural Tan. So that's the colour that I wear. So basically I've already just moisturised my face and I am going to use a Real Techniques um, Expert face, face Brush. So I am just going to pour a little onto my brush and just dab that basically spot that all over my face as you can see my psoriasis is really bad at the moment but literally I'm just going to stipple away at that so I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible and do a really basic look but I will have to go reaching because I haven't prepped as per usual I've just grabbed out and sat down and do something off the cuff like I normally do. I really love these um, Real Techniques brushes. I find that they are affordable. Um, they're not expensive and the quality of them is just fabulous. So, and I have to say also that the Revlon Color Stay Foundation really does. Um, I love it. It's one of my favourites. I always go back to it. It lasts all day um, and it gives my skin a really nice finish So, and hides a lot of my imperfections and pores. So I'm not doing a primer or anything like that because I just want to show you that you can still get a really nice finish without having to use really expensive products all the time. So. I'm going to try very hard to stick to drugstore stuff basically. So finished with that. The next thing I am going to do is put on my under eye concealer. Now I use the um, Age Rewind but I use the, um, I think this is just the brightening one by Maybelline and I just pop a little bit of that under my eyes and just down beside my nose. And I also use a Real Techniques brush for this, which is hiding in the back. And this is the, um, I actually use the Essential Foundation brush for this. As you can see, it's dirty because I've used it. And I am going to do an updated um, makeup routine, uh, collection, sorry, so that you can see how I store my brushes and figure out what needs cleaning and what doesn't. Now the other thing, now I'm going to reach, sorry, I use the e.l.f. Um, high definition um, powder, setting powder and I just tap a little into the cap, so not a lot and I use the other side of the brush that I've just done my concealer with and I literally just apply that under my eyes. So I do use this. Now e.l.f. products aren't expensive and for those of you who've entered my um, or would like to enter my March competition this powder is one of the things that I have buy off beautyjoint.com um, I really like it because it sets my under eye concealer and it's just a little bit white so it's a little bit adds to that brightening look ducking again which is very bad I know now for powder let me see 
I am going to use, if I can find it, I really should have organised myself better, shouldn't I? I am going to use my Revlon um, Colour Stay. This one is in medium, so this is a well used one. So, and I am using the Real Techniques, um, and this is the um, Multitask Brush. So just pat that at first all over. So I don't blend it, I just literally pat it so I don't interrupt any of the foundation. And then I just buff and blend and make sure that I've got no loose product still on my face so I think that those two together give a really nice finish you don't have to use high-end products or expensive brushes to get a really nice look so because I jump around a bit I am going to use my um, this is a NYX this is another product I buy off um, the beautyjoint.com website so I cannot see this colour strawberry jam I believe it says so I'm just going to put this on my lips because I have this tealy coloured top on today and I just want to add a bit of colour even though it's coming into autumn down here for you guys it's coming into springs well to most of my subbies it's coming into springs so spring colours so that I think I will use one of my elf blushes this one I have no hope of seeing the colour of it sorry so this is just a beautifully sparkly blush and again I'm drop something. I'm just going to use my blush brush from Real Techniques and just give myself a bit of colour and my eyes are watering again. So just add a touch of colour and a touch of sparkle just to give me a bit of colour on my cheeks. Then I think I will use, what will I use? Something really simple. How about I go ducking again, sorry. Must prepare better, doesn't I? I think today I will use, this is something else, just to give you an idea of how you can get a really quick, simple look um, and inexpensively. So this is the Wet n Wild one of their trios this one is walking on eggshells and literally with these I simply follow the steps so um, I don't use the brushes in them you can but I don't um, I'm just going to be using another real techniques brush this is the if I can turn it the right way the um, base shadow brush so I'm going to apply the lighter color to all over my eyelid now the other thing that I didn't do but you can do is put a eye primer on now I've got a couple of primers that I've got from um, also from beautyjoint.com so you can get your eye color bases there but I find these wet n wild shadows really do just stay in place and they've got fabulous colour payoffs so I'm just using the eyelid colour on my eyelids and then I'm just going to turn the brush and go to the brow colour and I'm just going to add a little to the inside of my eye and pull that up over my brow and do the same thing on this side and we won't have to worry about the hair because in a couple of days it will be gone. 
still still tossing up whether to vlog because I don't normally do vlog type things but whether to do a vlog on me having my hair done and losing my hair. Now I cannot find my e.l.f. brush at the moment because otherwise I would use that but e.l.f. have a brush very similar to this one which is an angled brush so I would generally use that but unfortunately I cannot lay my hands on it at the moment so I'm just going in with the crease slash defining colour and I am just going to run that in my outer V just to give me a little bit of color on the outside edge and I will blend that in a minute but just to give that bit of depth and bit of warmth to my eye and I'm also going to go in with the um, eyebrow pencil eyebrow pencil eyebrow brush from Real Techniques just to put a little bit of that on my lower waterline just to marry up the colours and then I am going to take my Real Techniques um, this is the uh, which one is this this is the deluxe crease brush. I should know these off by heart by now, but I don't. And I'm just going to blend that brownie colour that I've put in there just in with my brow bone colour. And then I am going to use my brow fix to do my brows, just using the little brush that comes in in this kit because I do like it. It's only a teeny tiny brush but it does the job beautifully and I just mix probably about three parts of the darker colour to one part of the lighter colour just to add a bit of depth to my eyebrows. So basically just you know dunk it in the dark colour three times and just twice into the lighter colour because I just find that gives a bit of depth and definition to my eyebrows then just running a spoolie brush through them to keep them in place and then I am just going to get a big fluffy brush and brush away any fallout and then for mascara we will use today if I can get it out that one out. I am going to use my um, Mega Plush Maybelline Express Mascara and I'm not going to curl my lashes today because it's just the weekend. This has got quite a big flexible brush on it and I like this better as it gets older if that makes sense. I like it just to be a bit drier when it's new it's very very wet and I'm not a big fan of the very wet mascaras so and then bottom lashes some love of course and pull my mascara face so leave me a comment if you would like to see a vlog on um, when I shave my head on Friday the 15th and then I'll still do tutorials with no hair at least I'm losing my hair by choice some people don't have a choice if you've watched my earlier videos you'll see last year when it was growing back so just a quick second coat just to build up the volume and add a bit more length. And that's it, done. 
So really easy, really simple, back to basics, not expensive products, not expensive brushes, but you can still get a really nice look. I'm just checking that I don't have lipstick on my teeth. You can still get a really nice look um, that you can pull off very inexpensively. So if you have entered my February competition, basically expect except for the Color Stay Foundation, you'll basically be able to get 99% of these products and the brushes. But you can get the e.l.f. brushes, which I will do another tutorial on hopefully using the e.l.f. brushes because they are absolutely fabulous, especially considering the price. So I often use my e.l.f. powder brush, um, but today I was sticking with the Real Techniques because I know they are great, great brushes. They are a little bit more expensive than the e.l.f. brushes, but they still are really fabulous brushes. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you like this look. Um, really simple really quick and all in real time with no editing including my ducking I'm sorry so I hope you've enjoyed I hope you're having a great day whatever it is that you're doing and I'll talk to you all again soon thanks for watching bye